I have to apologize. Listen, I got a little aggressive there at the beginning, but I'm just, I'm excited because we're back with a brand new episode of Brainworms. At least that's what I've coined it. In fact, that LED box right there says Brainworms on it, so that's about as official as it gets. This might as well be a goddamn Netflix special. Some of you might recall I uploaded a video a few weeks ago called Ruin Your Life in 30 Seconds or Less, in which we looked at some individuals who are unable to exercise restraint and poise when they're in public. You're, you're I feel threatened! You're coming close Back to me. Off. They start acting a fool, and naturally someone pulls out a cell phone, goes up on the internet, goes viral, and you know how the rest goes. Now, 2020 has taken a lot from us. It has. Wilfred Brimley, Regis Philbin, rest in peace. Our ability to leave the house during the summer without thinking we're gonna get COVID AIDS and melt into a puddle of piss on the asphalt. But if there's one thing it has given us in spades, it is idiots acting a fool in public. And I'm not saying I like it. I mean, it's entertaining, sure, but it's simultaneously tragic to watch the human race just circle in the drain after COVID apparently hit the flush button. Hold on a second. Anyways, let's buckle up. Oh boy. Burger King Kevin. get the out of here before I get her put in jail for the rest of her life. <laughs> it's jail for, you're gonna get you're gonna get her put in jail for the rest of her life for sir sir let me remind you sir this this, this is, is a burger, burger king now as always zero context to what's going on this is a 13 second clip but we come in in the heat of the moment we don't know what's got kevin bugged out here in the burger king did his fries come out cold did they run out of salt did someone say something about his mother from behind the counter we don't know but let's see where he takes it a vicious open palm slap to the face. God almighty, look at that. Uh, hey guys, I wish this was a joke, but I uploaded the video with the slap in it and uh, it got demonetized for violence and harmful or dangerous acts. A slap. Um, so that's where we're at now. Something I wouldn't even be bothered showing my two-year-old uh, yet uh, that it's unsafe for advertisers on YouTube. So that's just what we're dealing with. Sorry about the PNG. <laughs> Love you to death. See you soon. What a loser. My dude over here behind the counter just wanted to show up to work today, make his 10 bucks an hour, go home, roll up a cone, and play some Skyrim. And he has to deal with this dickhead. Can we get this man a raise, please? That was posted on August 3rd, and later that day, August 3rd, update, Burger King Kevin has been ID'd and fired from his job. <laughs> the internet works quick. Update, he got charged. Well, GG's, Burger King Kevin. Uh, I hope that slap was worth it. Now, of course, in true Twitter fashion, every single reply has managed to make this either political or racial, even though neither of those things were present in the video, but Cat Redacted takes umbrage with a different fact. This is atrocious, but also disturbing is picking the name Kevin to describe him. What's your name? How about we use that? You guys need to get more original and creative and stop using someone's actual name. That goes for Karen too. Come on, people. Can you do better? <laughs> Lady? Just delete Twitter now, because I promise you it's only gonna get worse. Black guy attempts to hit on married Asian, screams, go back to Asia, and calls her a disgusting Asian oof when she, okay, well, let's see. Wow. Oh, boy. Oh, jeez. Wow. I'm sorry, can you help me? Yeah, help I'm seeing very, very right Asia. now. <laughs> this guy is coming out hot. I mean, throwing bows, right? Seems like an overreaction, but as is tradition, we don't know the context or why this woman was filming in the first place. We can just never get context on the internet. Uh, but before we move on, fortunately, what we can get is affordable wireless earbuds, which uh, Leon in a red hat with a different background is here to tell us about. You guys already know that when I'm talking about affordable, sleek, and convenient wireless earbuds, the Raycon Everyday E25s are my shit. Yeah. So what if Snoop Dogg and J.R. Smith and Mike Tyson all wear the everyday 25s? They don't look half as good as I do when I pop these babies in for a sweaty ass workout. Come take a look. This cute ass case charges them as you go, and when you pop them in, they sound just as amazing as other top audio brands you know, just at half the price. Their everyday E25s are the best yet. They have more bass, easy Bluetooth pairing, six hours of playtime, and you get a noise isolating fit that comes in multiple fun colors. Whether I'm working out or laughing at idiots on Twitter, these babies get the job done, and the good news is you can get a pair for yourself right now at 15% off an already low price. If you use my link in the description, that's buyraycon.com slash Leon Lush to pick up your very own pair today. You know that I appreciate you guys. All right. Oh, jeez. Wow. What? Wow. Wow. Yeah. You? My name, and you know what? My name is Frederick Douglas Smith. My social security number is 557 wow.
I'm so. Did my man just dox himself? I just you can't draw it up better than that. I mean, he's given Reddit a day off. They don't even have, they don't even have to do any work. He just did it himself. Yeah, I can film you too. F you, bitch. you dumb. Bitch. By the way, my name's Leon Lush. My social security number is 07182-2175. Right here, actually, you're gonna see a sheet of paper I fold in half. It has a bullet point list of all of my phobias and all of my bank account information for you. Uh, also, you're a bitch. My name, and you know what? My name is Frederick Douglas Smith. <laughs> OG Frederick Douglas is rolling in his grave right now at this dude's indiscretion. I was born November 6, 1970. Can you, can you help me, please? This is being really scary. Nobody ain't nobody gonna help you. Please take Oh, wow, he had to go there, huh? Jeez, Louise. What a dick. I'm a contributor to the Obama administration. Oh, my, Asian. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I'm a contributor to the Obama administration, you dumb bitch. Yeah, that threat just uh, didn't hold the weight that I feel like he thought it would. I tithe 10% a week to secure my place in heaven next to God, you stupid I just invested in a duplex downtown because I want my money to go to work for me, you stupid bitch. Oh, I'll tell you what, Fred, I've been asking that same question my whole life. <laughs> no, but jokes aside. Brain worms. Have a blessed day, man. Have a blessed day. Yeah, Come on, you Come on. What? Hey, can you get this lady? Thank you. Don't touch me. I'm telling don't, you, don't, don't touch me. I ain't touching you. All right. Oh, is this woman? Is this woman okay? Was <laughs> she's got a three-word vocabulary so far? I mean, can we just pump the brakes for a second and appreciate how good her lawn looks? I mean, oh my God, the dad in me is spilling over with envy. Everything else about that woman's life must completely suck for her to act like this. But the lawn, the lawn game is nice. Maybe they went on her lawn accidentally. I don't know what's going on. They look like landscapers, uh, but this woman is is not having it. All right, thank you. Yeah, you bitch! All right, I just, <laughs> what is she doing? What is she doing? What is this woman doing? Brain worms. Still going. Minute and a half in. Oh my god. You're disturbing me. Are you hey, what's the fire Yeah, I can hear you. you That's our neighbor. God, even the neighbor's not safe from the wrath of this final boss Karen right here. How somebody makes it through 50 plus years of existence with this sort of emotional instability, or whatever you want to call this, uh, is beyond my comprehension. Yeah, I guess it was only a matter of time before she eventually made it to uh, the N word. Just a total, just a total case of brain worms on that one. Wait, is she driving around in a car that says COVID-19 screening, COVID-19 testing? Z I don't know if the zero means like she's against it or she's offering screening and testing from the front of her car there with the American flag on the side and uh... Read me your badge number. Boy. to get this woman you know like some people you get caught on camera and it's like they're just being jerks right they're just have an anger problem but women like people like this though there's got to be something more going on so I, i'm hesitant to like really you know dig into her because like she's clear look i mean look at the car dude she's driving around in a minivan with with poster stock with anti-coronavirus propaganda on. i mean it's just like 
Jesus, Lord Almighty, help this place, help this earth, help this country. <laughs> oh, you're gonna pray for him. Brain worms. That's all I can say for that one. I, I have. I don't even know what to say. People won't learn. These people won't learn. What do we need to learn? You're a bunch of idiots wearing masks. You know it's not real. Oh, here we go. You fools! You got a fucking doily on your face. You oh. <laughs> it looks like you fucking got it off your mom's countertop. You no, you didn't. Not off the mom's countertop, bro. Not. But how dare you talk about my mask like that? I bought mine at Target. Okay, not from my mom's countertop. Jerk. You jerk. You big jerk. You look like an idiot. You're the child trying to make you wear a mask. Hey, you oh, no. Shut up. Yelling at you. You're a dork. Look at you, you giant. <laughs> You're a dork! Look at you, you giant fuck, dude. This one is funny, dude. I'm sorry. What are you gonna do? Come outside. Come outside. What's up, mask boy? What's up, mask boy? Hold me back, bro. What's up, dork? What's up, big mask? Did you? Would you get that on your mom's counter? Did you get that mask off your mama's counter, mama mask boy? You little mama mask. But your mom's wearing that mask right now, little boy dork boy. Yeah, I'll talk to you yeah, there we go. Yeah. Fucking little, I'll beat that f***ing mask off your face like a fucking retard. Ah. Hold up, hold up. Are these, is this dude, are these this dude's kids? Holy shit, dude. Oh, the poor kids. Pussies. You're all a bunch of pussies wearing masks. Losers. Goodbye. That man's son had to pick his ass up off the ground and carried his sorry ass out the grocery store. Holy shit, those poor kids. Oh my God. Again, without context, but I promise you, whatever led up to that probably did not warrant that reaction. Those kids are now, I mean, Jesus, who only know? I don't, I don't know. I mean, it's been viral on Reddit. <laughs> Hear this comment though. <laughs> Imagine calling people pussies as you're literally being carried out like a baby by a kid. <laughs> Correction, by his own son. Uh, it, that was a chef's kiss almost where he, yeah, that that's, that is a chef's kiss. God almighty. Pussies, Look at, a bunch of pussies wearing masks. That, that, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is the funniest shit I've ever seen. Look at him. He's being carried out by his son. Oh my Please, God. Throw a bunch of pussies wearing masks. Like a little Pussy. baby. Goodbye. I'm so, I hate to laugh because I feel so bad for these kids. Oh my God, imagine what goes on at home in this dude's house. I just, I can't. This is what I'm talking about though. You need to have restraint and poise. Just, just be able to go out in public, even if you get into a, like a verbal disagreement with someone or you don't want to wear a mask and someone wants you to wear a mask, you're in a store that requires it, you don't want just like fucking cool your shit. Take your foot off the gas or you're gonna end up like this dude. Your kids are, forever embarrassed. You're now like the laughing stock of your family. Probably most of the internet, they're not gonna be able to like go back to college for the fall semester without people pulling up this shit on their phone. Anytime they get, you know what I'm saying? It's just, you're, you're doing a disservice to your whole family here because you uh, had to indulge in your whimsical uh, need to get heated over some dumb shit when you could have just walked out the store. This wouldn't have happened. In fact, if you walked out the store, you wouldn't have had to be carried out by your own son while you were calling people pussies. Does he say, I'll beat the mask right off your face and I'll fuck a re before his son squeezes that part of him? Oh no, dude. I'll beat That's that a mask off your face like a fucking retard. <laughs> he does, dude. This video is the perfect example of sad uh, but entertaining, that is, that I mentioned earlier. Holy shit. Okay. Can you please stay outside? No, sir. I'm here with my boyfriend. I'm accompanying well, him. I, I'm, I'm here. I got my mask on. She's not. Are you going to get a license? <laughs> sir, <laughs> I'm accompanying my boyfriend. You have to stay outside. Please stay Why? outside. Because only we have a limited capability how much we can have here. Please wait, wait outside, okay? Your occupancy permit, how many does it allow for? I could tell you outside. We have spots. See the spots? What is this, like a DMV? Okay, so he just said that. Uh, this facility. Right? Like, why do people feel the need to vlog it? They're like, all right, I know this place requires masks, 
well, I'm not going to fucking wear a mask and I'm going to vlog this shit just in case they tell me I can't and then I'm going to put it online because why, uh, because I want to look like an idiot. I don't, I don't know. The best part was the beginning where he's like, I've got my mask on and she's... Uh, I'm here. I got my mask on. She's not... Are you going to get a license? <laughs> she's... she's you will not... Uh, yeah, she, she's kind of psycho. Could you kick her out, please, so I can have a little bit of peace and quiet? That would be sick. Okay, so he just said that uh, this facility this can't accommodate can me. Come outside? So I'm asking him for the occupancy permit. <laughs> we have... We have... <laughs> I promise that if you have ever asked to see somebody's occupancy permit, and that wasn't your explicit job to do so, you might just be a loser. You might, you might just be an absolute tool. But I'm with my boyfriend. You cannot do this with a boyfriend. You have to wear a mask. Sir, I yes, I you can do this with my wear, boyfriend. You have to wear a mask. I do not. Yes, why, do. I, why is that? It's by state, by state, by the governor. You have to wear it's a mask. It's a mandate. It's not a law. Yes, I know, but you have to wear it's a mask. It's not a law, sir. Oh, snap. Well, you, your job is not to enforce mandates. Okay, so I'm give, being given a pretty hard time here about not being able to stand next to my boyfriend. Ladies, listen up. If you're on Twitter crying about how you can't find a boyfriend, all right, and this woman was able to lock down a man, what are you doing, okay? Now I know you're capping because you're just not trying too hard if she's able to and you can't. Ma'am, I, I say to you, no recording. You want me to call the police for you? Sir, I'm recording myself, but you're invading my, pri my you, you space. You are not wearing a mask. You must wear a mask. Okay? I, but size who? The governor, go, go no, outside. No, the governor is not the law. I'm gonna call the police. So he just said so, he's gonna call the police yeah, on me. Yeah. Oh, no. The cops are gonna come here. You don't want that shit again. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. <laughs> oh no, dude, the boyfriend! Did you, you can you <laughs> He said again, he was like, Hannah, come on, Hannah, please God, for the love of God, just stand outside. I'm, I'm only gonna be in line for like 10 minutes. Hannah, can you just wait the fuck outside? The cops, he's calling the cops. They're going to come again. Hannah, like how many times has this dude had to put up with this chick filming herself doing some dumb shit in a store like this? Wow, does this dude desperate to still, you know, I don't like to project, I don't want to like, you know, t pretend like I know about their relationship, but dear Lord, if that doesn't push you to the brink, I don't know what would. So we'll see what happens. So you're going to compromise my health by not wearing a mask? Oh, peanut gallery from the back. Dropping a bomb on Hannah. Holy shit. Now the public's getting involved. Let's see what Hannah has to say. Deep in the fourth quarter, shit just took a turn. Because that's what you're doing right now. Because if you are sick, you are compromising my immune system. I am not. I'm not a virus. I'm a human being. If you are sick, you are I am not sick. I'm not sick. I'm not sick. I'm not sick. Yeah, and they're little girls. The face mask you're wearing is compromising your health. No, yes, it does. What? So I'm gonna. I didn't ask if you put it on. If you not, would you please leave? No, sir. Oh yeah, everyone's involved now. Hannah's getting dog piled. I have a customer here telling me to leave. And she's vlogging it. I just, fuck. Oh my God! Look at this Ohio woman appearing in her second anti-masker video in less than a week. That must be what her boyfriend was referring to. That was a DMV, I was right. And then days after the DMV one, she went viral again for doing the same shit in a Planet Fitness. As a member at the gym, reading the signs that in the front say, please wear a mask when you come in, you didn't do that. So I'm asking you politely to leave. Okay, well, what's the next thing you're gonna say if I'm not wearing- I have um, all security. Um, a weight, uh, if I'm not wearing a, a weight band around my waist, you're going to tell me to leave? What grounds? Yes, because a weight band around your waist and a mask serve the same purpose, you dumb idiot! Brain worms. This woman is like the target broad from my last video that was ripping all of the masks off the target displays, freaking out, recording herself doing it the whole time. Like, why are you recording yourself? You're, you're only, like, are you documenting this to show who? Who are you going to show this to that's not going to be like, yeah, you're just kind of being a bitch. I respect people's desire to not wear a mask if that's what you want to do, but read the fucking room, right? You Like, she's going around picking fights with people in places she knows where it's going to be a problem. 
these type of people are just so fucking obnoxious. Well, as the world continues to circle the drain on the heels of this global pandemic, I'm sure that videos like these ones will not be in short supply. So if you go out and you value your job and your reputation, just remember a little bit of restraint and poise can go a long way. So until we see you next time, do me a favor and stay hip thrusting that motherfucking like button for me. And I'd love it if you subscribed, if you were new. Uh, I appreciate you watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. You, you, you.